everybody, I'm Aaron Edgar from the band Third Ion. One of the things that's been really inspiring me lately while I've been playing my drums is blending sounds with them. And I'm not talking about, you know, adding a different floor tom sound to my floor tom. I'm talking about adding totally different sounds, things that aren't even necessarily drum sounds, a little bit of ambience, for example, or just something that gives it a little bit of vibe. The cool thing about that is that it can inspire you to play a little differently. To do the job of actually adding sounds to my acoustic drum set, I've employed the help of Roland's TM2 unit. I've actually got two of them back here and a whole bunch of their acoustic drum triggers. Now I've got them strapped to my late 60s sonar jazz kit and honestly the combination is super inspiring. I found a ton of fun sounds even just the first time I ever set this stuff up. One of the coolest things about taking this approach, in my opinion, is being able to separate the head and rim sounds. You can have a completely different sound, let's say on your floor tom, than you do on the floor tom rim. Or, alternately, you could even just have a sound on the floor tom rim, or you could just have it on the floor tom head itself. It's really cool the way that they've actually made the triggers so they don't really cross talk at all. You can play the rim like it's a totally different thing. Don't have an extra stand for a stack? Throw it on a rim. Don't want to carry around a vibra slap, neither does anyone else, and he can just chuck that on a rim too. The reason that I picked up this trigger set in the first place was that the new third Ion album, Biolith, which by the way is going to be coming out this summer, has a number of songs where there's multiple completely different drum sets in the track. Now, to be able to pull that kind of thing off effectively live, you'd either have to bring multiple drum sets or a far easier approach in my opinion would be just to bring some triggers and augment your drum sound. You don't need to replace them. Let's just say, you know, the outro of a tune has this huge, boomy, reverby, ambient kind of sound, like a big bottom sort of thing. Just add it. There's no problem. You can 100% at the push of a button completely change your drum sound. And I especially love the fact that adding triggers to my arsenal has opened up new ways for me to express myself on the drum set. I find it incredibly inspiring when you're playing your snare drum and there's like a little water droplet sound or something that's just completely out of the realm of what a snare drum does added to the sound. And you can do that if you add triggers. <laughs> 